Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I've had a whirlwind of a busy day. I haven't really stopped. Well, tell a lie, I did have an hour where I sat down and crocheted. And I suppose I stopped. <laughs> stopped working. But I was working, if you get my drift. So even when I stopped, I was still doing something. So to be honest with you, blanket that I've been making is nearly finished. Can't believe it. So um, we'll be doing that tutorial soon. But I'm on the border at the moment, and uh, only well, I've just done. I've gone round once in the border. Um, it does look very pretty. I like it a lot. So uh, yeah, looking forward to showing you that, and maybe getting that done. So today, which was yesterday for you guys. No. Yeah. <laughs> Today for me is yesterday when it comes out. Yeah. Um, I did that Willow Square um, tutorial and um, that's popped up. And the funny thing is, it's usually that the right handed one um, goes off and up and running first. But this time around, it's been the left handed one. Not that it's much difference between the two at the moment because it's only just really come up sorry I'm really hot I do look a bit red I mean I actually have powdered so I was even redder Gary came home from work and said I'm really cold <laughs> I'm roasting absolutely roasting I actually um sat working on that blanket with the aircon blasting at me because I was so hot mind you I had just spent ages lugging boxes around and um, packing up orders and stuff like that but and I had lots of boxes because um, you know I was having a little sort out at the same time it's just not coming through why are you not I have to turn it up a bit it's not very loud it's a good fan in that respect so finally it's getting to me okay you know you're old when Not as bad as yesterday, couldn't find it, and it was on the side, but yesterday I lost it and it was around my neck. Okay, so, you know your old when, um, everything hurts, and what doesn't hurt doesn't work. <laughs> oh, joy. <laughs> that one can have one of these. <laughs> oh dear <laughs> such a such a lot to look forward to isn't there really <laughs> bless okay so happy hump day happiest hump dayus whoa <laughs> what on earth was that it's like a terrorist alert or something. I don't know. I think it was a. I think it was a bottle of drink. Like you know when you get it scrunched in and then it pops out. Well, that's what I think it was. Can't imagine it, but anything else frightened me. Whatever it was, doesn't take much these days. Okay, so what's the picture today? I don't actually recognise that. I probably would if I watched it again. No, I'm just kind of like, oh yeah. It's not that. The one with the eggs, is it? Not the froggy lady that had the eggs that Grogu kept eating. Naughty little Grogu. Maybe. It doesn't look froggy, doesn't it? <laughs> I suppose. Frog lady. That that really was weird. It's like... Phew. I don't know. That was a... Definitely. Nearly finished the blanket, I'm so happy. You know, I, d I haven't really done it very much. I've just done little bits here and there. Um, maybe a, an hour here, an hour there. So I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of glad. And I, I had this, uh, I was looking at it. And you know, it's got the sections of like the white bit and the colors. If you haven't seen it, I do apologize. Um, you might be new to my channel, but I was making this blanket and I was putting some stripes in. And there's a little white bit before the stripes. 
so I figured, ah, okay, I'll have to do a white bit above the stripes. So if I'd done, and I looked at it, I thought, is it is it actually long enough? But if I'd have done another section to get more coloured stripes and then a white, it would have been very long and wouldn't have would have looked too narrow then. So I figured, no, it's it's fine. It, I'm sure it is absolutely fine. So now I'm on the border and uh, it'll be done very soon. Whew, fluffy nose. So I, I was just going to do an unboxing. I've got a big box here at the side of me. I got all excited because I thought it was, um, I thought it was these wool genies and some yarn. I got all like, yay. Because I got a message to say it was on its way and it would be arriving, but it's not. It's a slow cooker. Um, I looked at the box and it said Morphe Richards on it. So I thought, oh, I, I, I ordered a new slow cooker because the other one was... It, it works. That's the annoying thing. But you just cannot get the little control knob to stay on it and it pops off and the lights and the wires all hang out. And it's a bit dangerous, Gary said, oh, don't let that bit touch that bit or it'll just fuse all the electric. I said, do you know what, it's going in the bin now. No, you said that. Because earlier on, I had been pushing all those leads in. And, you know, they were touching, the light was touching the, the metal, which is what he said, don't do. And I thought at the time, I'm going to get a shock in a minute. So, yeah, it's definitely going. New one here. I hope it's the same. Gary said, I like that one. I might get the same one, okay? So hopefully it is. But um, if not, it can go back. Because I ordered it from the very catalogue, so it's easy just to send things back. Anyway, cheers, nice cup of tea. Mm. Yummy. I've tried to be really healthy today. Um, I've had three big beakers these of water i thought you know earlier on I, I made a coffee and um i don't do coffee really but um we have a coffee machine and they've got like pods and we've got these starbucks ones that gary was really into a little while ago he's gone off them a bit now he got a bit bored with them so i figured okay i'm gonna have coffee for a change i've got cream and i've got my sweetener stuff so I wouldn't put too much in, just in case. And it was so bitter. I thought, how on earth has he been drinking this stuff? It's absolutely awful. I mean, it was disgusting. So it went down the sink. I just thought, oh, no. But I didn't want to sort of keep making tea after tea after tea. So, And I didn't want to soft drinks. So I'm going to sneeze. Maybe. It's gone. So I thought, you know, I'll drink some water, be really, really healthy and stuff. But um, I've had a bit of a strange thing and it's happened to me twice where I had pain about here at the back. Every time I breathed, breathed in, it was like, oh, so I figured, you know, it was wind. That's what I thought, trapped wind. Um, I wasn't absolutely sure. It was either, if I ever felt kind of, well, it just felt really weird. Every time I breathed it, it caught me. And the first time that I had it was after I drank. Gary bought some cans and he, he brought a zero Dr Pepper. And one time, many years ago, we were, when his mum was here and we were in Gary's room and he brought in some Dr Pepper and it wasn't until a little while later, as soon as I drank it, it was like, I feel so bloated, unbelievably, but I'm so uncomfortable. And I was kind of semi-laying on the bed, like re reclining, watching TV, you know, like you do. And because um, obviously we couldn't watch Joyce's programmes, you know, they were like CSI or Ensis, like really old ones. So, you know, we were watching a movie or something and I just was so uncomfortable. And my midriff seemed to stick out way beyond the rest of me like you know could, and I was like, this isn't normal and my bra was tight everything was tight I was getting really 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 mega uncomfortable and um it was hard as a drum you know so Gary said I'm going to take you to the hospital I didn't really want to go but 
um, we went. I thought they were just going to... I said, you know, this is silly. We can't go to the hospital because of this. Anyway, as soon as I told them what it was, they rushed me into a cubicle and started doing all these tests. Because apparently those are the symptoms of ovarian cancer. Obviously it wasn't and it was just the scans showed that I had a lot of upper body trapped gas. And this happens to me quite often, see, so I thought, you know, what is the reason for that? That's just weird. Anyway, obviously I didn't have ovarian cancer or any cancer at the time. And um, I forgot all about it. So I don't really drink Dr Pepper. I find that it does make me very, um, I can't say windy, but bloated. Anyway, cut a long story short. I had one, was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember now. Um, and straight away I got this pain back here again. And I said to Gary, it's this. <laughs> because the first time it happened was when you first brought these cans home. Because he went shopping during work, like lunch hour. And um, I said that I had one then and now I've got I had one again. I was taking painkillers and it doesn't really go until I've woke up the next morning, you know. But it's all on this side. It's really weird. So I'm not going to be drinking Dr Pepper ever again. It was nice, but it just doesn't agree with me. So, uh, yeah, how strange is that though? It is weird, you know, they're not, none of these drinks are very good for you, you know, fizzies, especially diet ones with all the aspartame and whatever sweeteners are in them. They're not very good for you. So I'm just going to have them now and then, like very sparingly, and drink water and black tea, which is brown water. Cheers. If you're wondering why my hair looks like it's stuck to my head, it's because I've washed it, so it's semi-wet. It's a little bit damp still. Not as bad as it was this morning. Oh my God, I feel like I want to sneeze. Every time I sit in front of the camera, it's like, you've got itchy nose, you're going to sneeze, you're going to sneeze. It's really odd. It is. Oh, I can turn the fan down a bit now. I've cooled down and it's made my tea cold. Can't have that now, can we? Oh, so yeah, tomorrow, I did notice when I looked at the, the phone to see when this um, parcel was coming, it was estimated that it would be Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Obviously, it's not for you, happy hump day, but it is for me because this is Tuesday evening. And um, so I thought, oh, it's early, it's early. <laughs> it really isn't early. Anyway, I've got another one that should be arriving soon and that's got some gorgeous new yarn in it as well as um, something that I ordered several of so I could have one and try it and show you guys. I'm not going to say anymore, but um, I can't wait for that to arrive. And then another one uh, of my little orders, um, I'm replacing some of the Robin paint box, which is out of stock and uh, getting some new colours in. But uh, they called me and said, one of the colours that you've ordered is out of stock. Um, so basically it's in stock next week. So I said, hold on to it then, I'll pay for it then and you can adjust the invoice and send it to me um, once that one's in stock because it's one of the new colours that I really, really wanted. So yep, loads of, loads of stuff in and out the house. So yeah, how about that? Anyway, it's a lovely sunny day today and uh, Fluffy has spent all day outside. When I went out to the Yarna van, I thought, you know, I don't really need these heaters anymore. Every time I go in there now, I'm not putting them on because it's warm enough. I mean, this is the this is England, you know. Tomorrow it might, might snow. You just... <laughs> You, you just don't know. So, I mean, I'm not exactly going to pack them away, for, like, you know, for the winter or anything like that. So um, there is a chance that they'll be needed, but I don't think so. Because I'm a bit of a hot bod um, at the best of times. So I can't see me needing them again unless we take a real downward chill, you know. But we might, as it's England. Just might. Um... I don't think I've really got much else to tell you because all I did today was washing, 
packing orders and sorting out the yarn van. Um, hanging out the washing or hanging up the washing and made a beef curry and um, I have to say I had a little taste and it is I'm really looking forward to it it's really nice it's a madras but I I kind of go a very low carb madras one of these days maybe I will do my recipe and put it over there I'll do it on Rocksteady because I've just been transferring my recipes from um, diet rocks onto there so I took them off one and put them on the other. So I was thinking maybe of doing the same for my banana cake and stuff that's on this channel and maybe putting that over there. So um, because it's not really this is not really a place for recipes, only recipes on how to make stuff with crochet, not really how to cook. So, yeah, I might take them off and put them over there. The only trouble is I did greet by saying welcome to Crochet Rocks and, you know, I noticed it on my cooking videos. One of them refers to Slimming World Rocks, which is what my Diet Rocks one was called in the beginning, but I didn't like it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, many identities um, and they've changed. You know, it's really weird. So, um, <laughs> anyway, going to do that. Going to put them over there. It's a lifestyle channel. It can house all those things. So, um, yeah, streamline it all down a little bit indeed um i feel like there was something i never did remember what the other thing was yesterday that i wrote on the list i never did find the list just one of those things so another thing that i'm working on at the moment are swatches for several of the aldi yarns and in a way it's helping me a little bit because i want to make something with some of that yarn that i got for me um one was for a baby blanket um, for Gary's daughter. She's having a boy, so um, that's why I bought all that blue. And uh, oh, it's quite chunky, though, and the baby's not going to be born in the summer. It is, so I think it's summer. Yeah. So anyway, it will still use them when it's freezing cold out, so that's fine. Um, but, yeah, I got the blue for that, and I got the peachy one. Um for me because I liked it so much and so uh, yeah I want to make something with that and uh, so doing the swatching is quite good because I can see how it works up and what I might like to, to make with it um, I'm hoping that when the wall genies arrive I've got a little bit of yarn to uh, show you because he did say pop some samples in fingers crossed he uh, put across the board samples from a lot of the ranges because um I don't really like to order unless I've groped them, if you like. One one lot of yarn that they sell is by Papatia. And I've got some Papatia, which is identical. It is identical to Hayfield Spirit. Absolutely identical. And um, although I think it's just acrylic rather than wool acrylic. So if you're really into the colours of the Hayfield Spirit but you don't like the wool content, that's where to get it from. Um, I do have quite a few colours of the Papatia, and some of them are astonishingly good. I mean, they, the orange one is my, one of my favourites. So the Papatia, anyway, um, they have a range, and it looks identical to Signet Sprinkles Pop, which I also sell. So I was tempted to order some of that just to see if it was the same but then I thought why do I want to have another yarn that is identical to what one that I also sell I mean it, I did it anyway didn't I with <laughs> the patio and Hayfield spirit so just really um but I didn't need another one that looked like that I mean the one that's called red velvet looked identical to the one I saw and there's lots of others as well so I might give them a go over the time but when I do like restocks of the wall genie and things like that. So my I called knitters are selling fast. I've got five left now. I did have lots, but they're they're really going quite fast. And um yeah, so that's good. I'll, I'll probably have to do another order for tulips soon because I've run out of a few things. The trouble with running a little business, you know, is as soon as you get money in, you order more stuff. 
it just perpetuates itself. It's like, you know, huh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing this, you know, but it kind of does. Never mind. It keeps me off the streets, doesn't it? Cheers, my dears. Well, it's getting cold, so I'm going to have to slurp it. Be right back. Hello, as if by magic, here I am. So, yeah, these are the squares that have popped up today, which is yesterday for you. And um, again, I made one with this green. I love the way this works out. I've sold out of this green now. I think since I did those tutorials um, showing the stacked stitch, you know, I can't call it a stacked double crochet because that's called something different across the pond. It just gets in confusing, doesn't it? Stack single crochet, stroke double crochet UK. Excuse me. I had a bit of a hiccup. So, um, yeah, since I made that one, it's gone. It's just disappeared. And then I did the granny square, which is here somewhere. No, it's walked. But wherever they've gone... It's so it sold the yarn because it looks so nice that people thought I'm having that, you know. And I'm sold out of green, but I've got other colours. Got the blue and I've got the rainbow and I think there's others anyway, but and this is the Poundland yarn. Remember the um one of these that I made before? I used Poundland pinks. You know the bright pinks one that I really, really like that colour. Well, this is the newer one and um, I thought I'd give it a go, see what it looks like. So I might make a new blanket with some um, with some willow squares. But if you've seen the willow squares before, not necessarily by me, but other people, mine are different. Mine look the same, but they are vastly different from how anyone else makes them. Because I like them to be kind of not so holy. They have holes yeah but they are not baggy holes they're not ones that just get even bigger they're ones that will stay as they are so yeah different but the same if you know what i mean well i'm gonna get off uh go and do the dinner um finish it off do the rice which isn't rice it's rice substitute it's um pathetic rice gary has miracle rice which is that guacamole and blah 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 plant and or cognac cognac rice i don't know and i have cauliflower stinks but it tastes better to me so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go do the rice warm up the dinner and uh, go spend some time with gaza so thanks for watching and spending some time with me. Happy Hump Day. Don't forget to look out for the Hump Day giveaway and for the Hump Day winner. I also have a 17,500 subscriber giveaway, which I am going to film in a minute. So that will pop up today for me, yesterday for you. <sighs> Confusing all this, isn't it? Anyway. Turtle Pip, I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.